Hey everybody, um, it's Tara Lynn for Saturdays. Anyway, um, a lot has been going on and I totally forgot last week to say Happy New Year, so Happy New Year! Anyhow, I am actually about to go to, well, on Monday to another doctor for this physical therapy and so I was thinking hey why don't I talk about a dysautonomia doctor and what you can expect from there and so this will be just my experience and um what happened where I was and what my doctor did um, and the nurses there okay so you're going for the first time and you'll you'll meet a nurse you won't you might not see a doctor just yet but you'll meet the nurse and um she'll t tell you to wear sports clothes and any items like that and you'll change into those if it's during the summer and you can take some cold you can wear shorts but it can be pretty cold in the doctor's office we'll also ask you to um you'll have to take off every your shirt and everything from there so they can look at your chest and see um, just like how your heart's doing and probably other stuff that I didn't know and what they'll do they'll also have you lay on your side also from your back and they will go between your ribs which I do warn is quite painful so um, just a little warning with that and then um, after that I was able to put my um, clothes back on <laughs> and I went I went out and I sat back down um, to go to the next station there were a total of three so um, the next station I went was a tilt table test um, some of you may know what that is and some of you might not but basically what it is you're lying on a table flat and they'll measure your heart rate and then it'll slowly mm, a little bit faster than slow go up to about a 90 degree angle or probably even more but like almost to a standing position it is a standing position so it's like you're standing straight up and so it when you're standing straight up they'll also measure your heart rate from lying to standing and you'll stand there for about mm, maybe 10 minutes but they you, you will be able to say if um if it is hurting really bad and they'll take your blood pressure your heart rate um Sorry if I'm in a different position, my camera just told me that I didn't have no storage so I had to go back and do some other things. Anyhow, back to the tilt table. With the tilt table, they'll measure your blood pressure in and out and then they'll start to lay you back down. Yes, it feels like you're, you're falling. <laughs> It, I don't like it, but you are not. You are totally safe. It's just from going like this to like that, or to like from here to there. But it's going slowly, so, um, but it does feel like you're, once you're getting about to this, um, way, it feels like it's going to go like that, but it's not. So, just keep that in mind whenever you feel like you're falling but you're not it was totally safe and then I went back out into the waiting um, area inside for the patients and they called me to the next one now if you um, are an asthmatic or a um, person who has asthma bring your inhaler and bring some for anybody bring something to drink like water, Gatorade, anything that um, that you'll need for drinking, because you'll be on a um, treadmill, and the treadmill will it's like it's like one of those that will go like when when you're running, 
this is a very nice um, demonstration, but you'll feel like you'll be running like or basically walking first, and then it'll incline and go faster, and like it'll keep going and going faster, and so I think I stopped at like six minutes in the third interval, like the beginning like probably 10 seconds in and my max heart rate was 176 I think and so they were kind of quite concerned with that as a lot as I was as well but I was breathing it was really hard to breathe and I they said that I could have um like I'd be able to drink Gatorade throughout when I needed to I mean I still had to keep um running and or walking um, I was also able to listen to music, um, just to help keep me focused, and then, and then I was done with those three stages, and so I went back to the waiting area for the patients, which is separate from the waiting area for, like, the parents and stuff, um, and then they called my mom and dad back to the doctor's office, and we talked to the doctor, I think it was actually just me and my mom. My dad just sat out in the waiting room because it was kind of small. But um, we, he told us um, what I could, could not do. And he firmly diagnosed me with dysautonomia. And